Why doesn't Open Temple do a high holiday appeal? Oi, who wants that? When we go to high holidays every year, whether it's Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, we're there to open our souls. We're there really to do an accounting of our souls. We're there to have a safe place where we could just do the work. If I were to ask you for money at that moment, it would be like completely tone deaf, inappropriate, ill-matched. It would be like, you know, if Reese's peanut butter cups are peanut butter and chocolate, it would be like peanut butter and hot sauce, which I guess some people eat. Peanut butter and hot sauce actually doesn't sound so bad. It's like a sriracha kind of Thai deliciousness. So maybe that's not a good analogy, but my point is it just wouldn't be a good combination. And so the 25 days in Christmas could come along, which is a time where we're all feeling a sense of gratitude for having gotten through this year together, all the things that we've been going through. Right now, Israel and all of the conflict in Gaza, all of the people who are suffering, are needing love. And what we do in response to it at Open Temple is we provide community connection and love. And in order for us to do that and create a safe space for all people to come together this time and model the world we want to see, we need your support. It's that simple. So please, please, I hear music in the background, consider giving uh, to our 25 days of Christmas this season. I promise great things are coming with Open Temple and great things are coming in the world. We need to, like in Hanukkah, be the light. So bring the light. And I promise it's always darkest. Oh, wait, who sings that? It's always darkest before the dawn. Done. Wrap it up. All right, we're done. <laughs> That's it.